Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last episode we finished Turnabout Samurai and now we begin Turnabout Goodbyes. I'm Wise Mamir. Let's get this show on the road. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. Fifteen years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Oh no. The funny thing is, this is being recorded literally the day after Christmas. Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need to stand, I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course. Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry. Nims the brakes. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident that their uh, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Yawn. Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure is kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick. Apparently... Fay blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's a it's murder. Gord Lake again. The body of a man has uh, was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. 
he was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Uh, Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes, M Maya? The fireman yelled at me when I called him. <laughs> of course he did, Maya. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? <laughs> they and Maya were... were an attorney and a spirit medium, not a pair of journalists. I... I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Okay. First off, detention center. For the whom in Maya's multiple W's and an H. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. The fact that we've all been in jail. <laughs> ah! Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm done laughing. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Probably not. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. <laughs> I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. It, I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh, we're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in free trials. H hey. Sure, you got lucky and won all free. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need a real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? <laughs> the murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, 
late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices in the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. But, Mr. Edgeworth? You... You didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> why won't Edgeworth why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Well, we're not getting any information out of him. Let's go to Gord Lake and see this lake monster. And this is where it happened. Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal? There's enough of us here. Any, anyone found anything? So, sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot. The trails, to, the trails tomorrow. The trails tomorrow. No, the trails behind him. We need clues on the double. But, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. Just you try saying that again. I'll... I'll... I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Recruits. Peh. Ah. Eek. Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will he never learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me, ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. I mean, his boss is currently, uh... Accused of murder. And that makes sense to me. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. You, you don't say. Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? Now, wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy, uh, Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds Lawyer. Yeah, uh, no way I was making, making it for that in one breath. <laughs> head in the, uh-huh. Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened the last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. And there was a boat on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived at the, on the scene arrested him. 
how did they get here so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the, into the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. R right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in them, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he is the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one is standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? I figure. And the trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story. But apparently no one he's been talking to will take the case. Well, why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Uh, unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that your bad and that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Who was this witness? Uh, oh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the, the, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being furrow. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> Your attorney's badge, Edgeworth. Let me defend you. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. Well, what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only free trials under his belt? Never. Well, what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. 
After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe that. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask. But you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth, Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Okay. I believe... It... Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation will suffer, or be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai case. Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Well? Wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe. What? Find someone? Um, no sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an, an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked up at the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have to t have something to talk to you about? Alright, here. 
I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh hey, Detective Gumshoe. Well, what? We'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick? I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah. They don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now, let's get investigating. I mean, there's also the fact that Gumshoe actually wants us to work for Edgeworth, so Gumshoe has a reason to give us permission. It's not exactly like we're pulling a fast one here. Anyway, let's move on and get to, I guess, the beach. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake. Yup. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dogs, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. Okay, so there's no one currently here. But hey! Huh? Someone left poppers here. You know, the cut, you know, you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a, a, a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick. They, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Yes. Yes, it was. But we are taking them anyway. Poppers, hmm. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Of course they did. The one person I don't trust with those things. Okay. Moving on to the woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. When it says no camping right there, who would be so... They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. I was gonna say, who would be so gutsy? Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go. Let's go talk to them. Okay. So we have a camera. So we're gonna take a look at the camera. Well, cool, let's try it out. Why is she doing an impression of Nick? <laughs> Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. <laughs> and then shouting, hey, I'm Nick, into the mic. I'm not gonna do that. Huh. Will you stop that? 
Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? Maybe these things? The party poppers? Bang. Of course. Well, it responded. Yo! Hey, you, get your hands off of that! Eek! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you done! Look at look what you done now! There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, what? Well, uh huh. Sor uh, so sorry. Sorry is nice, but it don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of fi of that film costs? Uh, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, what? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl, why they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. Nick, help. And you, who, and who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, I'd ra- uh, no, rather, uh, just friends. Just figure out what y'all are, are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I- I'd rather sit through one of Papa's trolls than, than listen to your stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay her later. I'm really sorry. Uh, this character is out of heart, and... Well, mm, yeah, she hasn't introduced herself, but I'll tell you right now, she's a lot of heart, and she is an annoyance. We will continue talking to her next episode on Let's Play Ace Attorney. I will see you then.